Ted, first of all, thank you for hosting the conference here. We enjoyed very much, very much your hospitality and the, the building and everything, the facility, which is very practical, very comfortable. Golf has been very good to us. We are only happy to share it. This is for the kingdom of the Lord and it doesn't belong to one church only. It's just fantastic to have this facility. Great, great. We enjoyed very much, especially because we prayed for you. Yes, you did. Last year we prayed, we fasted for the freedom, yes. for the religious freedom in uh, Bulgaria. And we are you. so glad that you still have this freedom and we thank pray you. that you will continue to have it and use it. Amen. Now, I heard during the conference that you are going to have a protest, a prayer meeting. Uh, can you explain a little bit more about that? Yes, today is the 8th of June. As yesterday, uh, what union? And uh, in the center of Sofia, there is a gay parade Și organized. In centro orașului Sofia, uh, homosexuali organizează o parade. We can't stop the gay parade because they are given some rights by the state. Noi nu putem să oprim parada aceasta pentru că au primit drept de la stat. But our way to react to that is to organize a separate parade for the family in the name of the Christian family. Dar felul nostru de a răspunde este să organizăm o paradă pentru familia creștină. So we're not going to speak against the gay people, that's not our business. Our business is to show the truth. Noi nu vorbim homosexualilor. Nu-i treaba noastră, treaba noastră este să arătăm adevărul din Sfintele Scripturi. We have written enough statements, everyone knows we disagree with that because the Bible disagrees with it. But Noi... now we go positively to say we believe that God created the family man and wife and he wants us to live in the biblical way as a family. Noi deja ne-am expus cu privire la uh, homosexualitate, la paradele acestea care le fac la propagandă și uh, deja am spus ce spune Biblia. Acum însă vrem să venim să proclamăm adevărul biblic despre familie. Ce spune Dumnezeu despre familie? So, we have invited families, men, husbands and wives, am invitat familii, and they come și and we march together și and we vor, pray. Uh, merge, uh, acolo vom avea un marș, ne vom ruga împreună. And we try to encourage the people that watch what's happening that they should create healthy families, relationships between a husband and a wife and so on. We have even asked some of the ladies if they could still fit in their wedding dresses to be in their wedding dresses. So that's one way of explaining it. So, so this is also a defense of the, the official marriage that you marry the person, you don't just live with someone as a partner. So this is today. Tomorrow, again in the center of Sofia, we will have a, a regional prayer meeting where many pastors and churches will come and will pray together for a, a blessing of this nation, for people to be um, made uh, um, aware of the knowledge of Christ and to accept him as a savior and also for the family in general. Vom, ne vom ruga pentru familii, dar și pentru oameni ca să-l cunoască pe Hristos, să-l accepte pe Hristos. So this is what's happening this, this weekend <laughs> on the streets of Sofia. Vom face acum sâmbătă și duminică aceste zile în Sofia. Ted, uh, can you tell me uh, this is the Evangelical Alliance is doing that? Um, The Evangelical Alliance is only one of the many organizations that have joined hands for this. It is uh, quite free. Am I mean, every Alianța Evanghelică face aceasta și mi-a spus că Alianța Evanghelică este doar unul din uh, unul din participanți, sunt mai mulți participanți la so, acțiunea aceasta care s-au individual churches can decide whether they want to participate or not. In, in mod individual au decis dacă vor să participe sau nu la evenimentul. So this is bigger than the Evangelical Alliance. Așa It's că este of... mult mai mare decât doar Alianța Evanghelică. And not every church is, is participating. Some people Nu toate bisericile participă. Some people have a, a problem with having open air prayers like that on the street. Unii au probleme, unele biserici au probleme să iasă așa în stradă, să se roage. But nevertheless they support the initiative so they will do prayer meetings in their churches. Dar oricum, ei susțin acțiunea noastră și ei se vor ruga în clădirea bisericilor. Uh, tomorrow is the prayer meeting is regional. This is around the area of Sofia, the capital mâine, and some towns around. Mâine biserica uh, va fi întâlnirea aceasta regională. Deci în Sofia vor veni și cei din jurul capitalei. But today the march for the family is organized in four cities in the country. Dar azi marșul acesta pentru familie este organizat în patru orașe din țară. The biggest cities: Sofia, Varna, Plovdiv and so on. Uh, 
Sofia, Varna, Plovdiv. Yes. And Russia. Uh, and Russia is the fourth Three one. Russia. Yes. Four big cities. Patro, Russia, Mar. Thank you. Thank you, Nick. You're welcome. Uh, Ted, excuse me. Thank you, Ted. I appreciate very much what you are doing and may God bless you, your church, your country. Thank you. May the gospel uh, go and reach every soul in this. In Thank this country. you very much. Okay, let, let, let me just say a couple of sentences. We wholeheartedly thank you, sisters and brothers, for praying for us back in December and November of 2018. The politicians in this country had decided to change the religious law of the country. Suggesting some very discriminative, uh, discriminative um, barriers for the gospel. Pentru că ei sugerau niște uh, acțiuni foarte discriminatorii care aveau să fie mari bariere, mari pedici în calea evangheliei. They were ready to to close churches, to, to să închidă biserici. Um, put limits on what you can preach in the church. Să pună uh, limitări cu privire la ceea ce poate fi predicat în biserici. There was a suggestion that if you don't have a certain number of members, they'll close down the entire denomination in the country. Chiar era și sugestia că dacă nu ai un anumit număr de membri în, uh, în confesiune, să fie închis întregi confesiuni. So if these changes were to be accepted in the way that they suggest, they propose Dacă ar fi fost acceptate aceste legi așa cum au fost propuse, the religious law in Bulgaria would have been worse than the laws during the communist this time, uh, uh, not overstated. So, not only the Protestants and the Evangelicals, but all of the religious communities in the country were against these changes. And all the politicians agreed that they would do them. So initially when we started talking to them and saying this is totally unfair, it is not... It is not at all complying with the European laws, your members of the European Union. It definitely um, destroys anything about human rights and religious freedom. The answer, the answer we got at the time was, don't you see all of the politicians have agreed on it? It's going to happen. There is a political will about it. Nu vedeți voi că toți politicienii sunt de acord cu privire la legile aceasta, toți gândesc la fel? Și se va întâmpla așa, ziceam. So what we did was, we did three things. Ce am făcut noi? Trei lucruri. Firstly, we announced prayer and fasting all over the land. Am anunțat în toată țara rugăciune și post. Secondly, al doilea lucru. We let the news go everywhere. So we asked am partners and people in Bulgaria știri peste tot. Am rugat pe toți partenerii noștri. To write letters să scrie, and to contact scrie their scrisori, uh, scrie petiții, embassies and politicians so that uh, a pressure could be created. Așa ca să fie creat o presiune aici, aici în țară. And thirdly, we got together. Și al treilea lucru, am venit toți împreună. And we thought we may not be able to change their intentions, but at least they have to know that the country of Bulgaria, the people of Bulgaria have to know that we disagree with them. So we planned open air protests, Așa peaceful protests. Așa că ne-am gândit, s-ar putea în politicienii să nu vrea să schimbe legea, dar cel puțin lasă oamenii din Bulgaria să știe ce credem noi, ce gândim. Și de aceea am făcut proteste în aer liber. So in eight consecutive Sundays we had protests there. O opt duminici la rând noi am venit și am protestat. Sunny weather, nu conta, rain, era soare afară, snow, sau freezing zăpadă, temperature. Sau ploaie, we sau were there. Ger, noi am fost so acolo. God was very good to us. Dumnezeu a fost foarte bun cu noi. Your prayers and our Dumnezeu a răspuns prayers. la rugăciunea voastră, la rugăciunea noastră. So that the politicians could wise up. Așa că politicienii au putut să regândească. And eventually almost 99% of their suggestions did not were not voted. Așa că 99% din ceea ce au propus inițial politicienii cu legea aceasta. Now we do have nu a fost votat. We do have a renewed religious law. Așa că acum avem o lege a religiei revizuită, o lege a cultului revizuit. With some restrictions. Cu ceva restricțiuni. But generally speaking, they did not Dar succeed in the way. In general, nu este ceea ce au inițiat. In the way they wanted to limit the freedom for the gospel.
ca să limiteze libertatea evangheliei. So on behalf of the Baptist Union here in the Church of Sofia, on behalf of the Evangelical Alliance of Churches, which we remember, and many other Christians and even non-Christians, I thank you for your wholehearted prayers for us and the way you stepped in for us. God bless you. Dumnezeu să vă binecuvânteze. Thank you. You're welcome. May God bless you and your country. Thanks.